Podcast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Weather from where you live. Well, the heavy, steady snows are pulling away now, and that's not after dumping quite a bit of accumulation. I've actually just measured five inches here at the WLFI studios in West Lafayette. But what dumped most of that snow today, that heavier snow pulling off to the east, and now just some periodic snow and a lot of snow showers kind of pivoting in from the northwest with the Arctic air and the high winds as well. We'll take in a little tighter here. Lebanon, some light snow, a little light snow at Crawfordsville. And the light snow goes all the way up to Frankfurt, uh, up to the floor area, also towards Camden, Kokomo, Rusheville, some light snow, and a little light snow still lingering in the Lafayette area. A little farther off to the northeast, Peru still getting some of that light, even some moderate snow, Logansport, Royal Center, and finally off to the northwest, where some of the snow is kind of pulling away now. There's still going to be a, at least a few snow flurries or light snow showers. Fowler up the U.S. 41 corridor to Morocco and up towards the Goodland area, and some snow in Rochester here as well. This is pretty good snow coming down Winnemac to Rochester, Akron, and also uh, north of Peru here near the Rowan, Indiana area. Now, snowfall totals thus far in this blue area right here, right in this area, this is about four to five inches. You get into the yellows, that's when you start picking up the five and five and a half inch amounts. The orange shadings, that's when you're pushing six inches. And the darker orange, like up here in our north uh, west counties, that's up around seven inches. So certainly the heaviest totals to the north and the southeast of our area. And this is uh, actually an area of a little less in terms of snowfall accumulation. But it's going to be nasty no matter what tonight. Treacherous travel, winds gusting over 30 miles an hour. There will be a lot of blowing and drifting with reduced visibility. And by the time it's all said and done, five to eight inches to cover the entire viewing area. But if you're out and about and you would happen to get stuck, this is the bad thing. Wind chills will be 20 below. Temperatures will be in the single digits. So it's just best to not even get out and mess with this if you don't have to. Now, notice temperatures. Again, very cold. We're down to 9 in Perryville as the Arctic air wraps in from the west and the southwest, actually. Still holding on to 20 at Rochester, where the wind chills 13. But these higher winds and colder temps will overspread Winnemac and Rochester over the next few hours. So your wind chills will drop well below zero as well. It feels like 11 below right now in Fowler. Some periodic snow tonight, a lot of blowing snow and drifting as well, and even some scattered snow showers into tomorrow. And then we get maybe a slight break towards tomorrow evening. But as we get into late, late tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, check out what happens. Here comes the lake effect, and that lake effect will affect the entire viewing area. By tomorrow morning with this system, with the snow showers and periodic snow tonight, I think five to six inches is pretty much going to do us all in here. Uh, I've, I've removed that four to five inch band because I think everybody will be in that five to six inch range now. Six to seven right up here, Remington up to uh, near Madaryville and about seven to eight in the far northwest. And then once that ends, the lake effect kicks in Friday through Sunday. You get the idea much more in the way of snow over our northeast counties, but even Lafayette, one to two inches. Okay, some periods of snow tonight, blowing and drifting. Wind chill to 20 below will drop to seven. Tomorrow, though, Ah, another brutally cold day, 12 for the high, wind chill to negative 10, at least some scattered snow showers around, and still blowing snow and a lot of lake effect. Again, late, late tomorrow evening into tomorrow night, right into Sunday, lake effect snow showers, very cold weather before we see a moderating trend with the temps, some light snow Wednesday with an Alberta clipper, and then, boy, you know, after the 15th, it still looks like there's some good news. We're going to get a thaw in here to melt some of this snow and ice off. A little bit.